Hi, in this video, we will see what is POJO and POJO class. Okay, what is POJO? First, what is POJO? POJO means plain old Java object. So, what is the full form of POJO? Plain old Java object. So, first we'll discuss about POJO. Okay, what is the definition of POJO? Okay, what is the Definition of POJO. POJO is a simple Java class. It's a simple Java class that encapsulates that encapsulates fields and it provides setters and getters. Setters and getters and follows and it, it follows basic java conventions okay what is the definition of pojo a simple java class that encapsulates fields and provides setters and getters and follows basic java conventions okay and what it contains it contains only data without business logic it doesn't have any it will not have any business logic or framework specific annotations okay framework specific annotations so it's very plain java class and it contains only fields and setters and getters that's it no business logic nothing inside this okay so what are the characteristics of this POJO class? What are the characteristics of POJO class? After this theory, we'll take one example and see how we can write a POJO class and you can use that POJO class, okay? So what are the characteristics of POJO? No external dependencies. So no external dependencies. Are framework annotations. Okay. There, if you want to create a POJO class or if you want to use POJO class, you don't need any dependencies. Directly you can create and use. And it facilitates clear representation of data structures. Okay. It uh, facilitates clear representation of data structures. Okay. This is a simple POJO. POJO means plain old Java object. Definition of POJO is it's a simple Java class that encapsulates fields and provides getters and setters and follows Java basic uh, basic Java conventions. Okay. What are the characteristics of a so POJO is no external dependencies or framework annotation and it facilitates clear representation of data structure. Now, what is POJO class? What is POJO class? Here, definition of POJO class we'll see first. Okay. What is the definition of POJO class? Definition of POJO. A Java class that adheres, that adheres to the principles of POJO that adheres to the principles of POJO. What is POJO? We just discussed it, simple Java class with some fields and setters and getters. Okay. A class, a, a POJO class, stick, uh, it, 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 it sticks to the, that POJO characteristics. Okay. It typically used, typically used to represent data structures in a simple and readable manner okay it typically use it to represent data that is in simple and readable manner okay so what are the characteristics of this pojo class what are the characteristics of pojo class it consists of private fields with corresponding with corresponding 
getters and setter method getters and setters method okay getters and setter methods all private fields with setters and getters methods it encourages encapsulation and modularity okay it encourages encapsulation so what is the definition of pojo class is that sticks to the pojo characteristics and typically used to represent the data in a simple and readable manner it consists of all private fields with setters and getters and it encourages encapsulation okay so then what is the use of this in rest assured okay use in rest assured what is the use in rest assured so why will use pojo class in rest assured one is request payload so request payload what is that in rest assured in sorry in rest assured pojo sar okay these pojo sar often used to model request payloads request payloads for request payloads for post air post or put requests when you sending a post request we need some request body there you can use pojos to construct that body okay some data you want to send that can be in the form of pojo then why we need this means here what is the purpose of this it simplifies simplifies the construction of json or xml request bodies or it simplifies the construction of json or xml request bodies this is a request payload in the same way in the response payload also in the response payload also so pojos aid in the deserialization okay deserialization of api responses okay pojos aid in deserialization the deserialization of api responses and it allows allows easy conversion of easy conversion of json or xml response bodies into response json or xml response bodies into java objects okay java objects for manipulation so it can uh, allows easy conversion of the response bodies into java objects so this is how you can use in request payload and response payload okay so in our upcoming videos when you discussing about the put request then with the help of one pojo we can construct the request body and you can send it to the server okay that we will see but here we'll see just a normal example not uh, rest assured how a pojo class will be and how to create a pojo class and how can you use that okay so for that i'll go to eclipse here i created in dot at dot test data inside this i'll create a pojo class called person okay class just a person okay so this is a simple class okay but how can be how can we can convert into a pojo class so we'll have a private fields private string first name private string last name private int age you have all private fields and we need to have a setters and getters and constructor okay so first we'll we'll create setters and getters right click go to the source generate getters and setters okay 
I want setters and getters for all. Select all. And then anything else. So that's it. Generate. So it generated all the setters and getters. Otherwise, you can write manually also. And I need constructor public person. And it will have parameterized constructor also. Public person. Parameterized means. So here what will have? String first name, comma string, last name, comma string, age. And inside this, this dot first name is equals to first name. This dot last name is equals to last name. This dot age is equals to age. Right. So now, sorry. Why I'm getting error here? Sorry, this is integer. Okay. So now empty constructor, parameterized constructor, setters and getters. This is default constructor. Okay. This is default constructor. And this is parameterized constructor. Okay. Setters and getters. Parameterized constructor, setters and getters. So this is a POJO class. Simple. It's a POJO class. It has a private field and all setters and getters. This is a person POJO class. How can you use this? Okay. How can you? use this, this POJO class. So for that, what I'll do, I'll create a class. Inside this test data only, I'll create a separate class. What I'll name? POJO example. POJO example, something like that. And public static void main. Okay. So here, here what I need to do? I'll create an object for person. Okay, person, person is equals to, you can provide the data, new person. So Tom, first parameter is first name and uh, last name is Jerry, just a random data and age is 30, something like that. Okay, so I provided the data. How you can retrieve the data? Standard out that print First name. Okay. First name is what? Person dot get first name. So we already created setters and getters, right? We are setting the data here with the help of constructor and with the help of getters, we are getting the name. Last name. Here the last name. And here age age right so person dot age get age sorry person dot get age if you try to run this run as java application you see first name tom last name uh, jerry and age is 30 there is a typo okay first name last name age and you can directly set a particular value also. Here we are setting all the values with the help of parameterized constructor. But I want to set a particular, okay, particular value. For that, I need to modify data or set the data. Modify or set the fields. How can you do that? Person dot set age. Uh, instead of 30, I want to put uh, modify as age. Oh, sorry. Uh, Set the age, new age. I'll say here, modified age, again. So till here it is 30. After this, I modified 30 to 40. Here I'll get the 40, okay. You see that, here 30, here modified age is 40. This is how you can create a POJO class. You can create a POJO class and you can use the same thing in the 
wherever you need. This same way, same way we'll use in the rest assured also in our coming coming videos. Okay, this is just an example. Okay, simple example. So this is how how we can create a POJO class and we can use that. So this is all about the POJO and POJO class. Okay, that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates. Thank you.